Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Maze RC Foam Fires. This will be one of our tip series um, on how to hook up the receiver. We got a bunch of guests with us. You guys can come over here. Um, Lexi's going to start us off first, and uh, there's a bunch of different ways to hook up the receiver. And this would be considered the TX, this would be considered the RX, um, and that's the receiver. And a lot of kids will ask the questions like, how do I hook this thing up? Well, the first thing you want to do, and you can come over here, Tyler, is that anytime that you see text, we always say, you know, layman's term, white or light wire with the text. It should be facing the text. But if you want to get technical, that whole first pin set going down that rim is your signal wire. Okay, that's what we need to make sure that our signal wire from our servo wire is going into the signal line of our receiver. If it's not, it won't work. So we have a lot of different setups that we're going to show you guys today that we typically will go through in our class. And um, Lexi brought forth the, what plane? Uh, the Tiny Trainer. Cool. And so she's got elevator and rudder, right? Yep. So how do you hook it up to your receiver to make it work? So the um, elevator hooks onto the elevator and then the aileron hooks onto the aileron even though it's the rudder. Right, so that throws kids for a spin because they're like, well, this is a rudder. I should be hooking up to the rudder signal. But it doesn't work like that. So she hooks it up normal. You don't do mixing or anything like that on your controller. Your controller just stays the same. So you can essentially just make a new model, hook it up how Alexi said it, and then you'll be fine. So you want to everything to be able to be controlled on the right joystick. So if I turn right, this thing is going to move left and right, the rudder. If I go up and down, the elevator is going to do the exact same thing. Over here, there's some people who are like, well, I want to train on the rudder. Maybe then if you want to have that set chain, then you would hook it up to the rudder. But that's all you have to do for this, for this setup. Yep. Thanks, Lexi. Yep. Okay, next one. You can move your stuff off. So let's do this one. So a common build in our class is the Elvron setup. The Elvron setup and you can flip this around. The Elvron setup is easy because design and engineering wise, it's, it's easy. And we don't have to use three or four or five different servos. So for Clara's Thunder, she has hers hooked up to her receiver. She has one of the servos, and it doesn't matter, hooked up to the elevator, and one of the servos, it doesn't matter, hooked up to the aileron. All of our planes, no matter what, the ESC servo wires always hook to the throttle. And that one, you want to make sure that the signal wire, which is the lightest color or the white color, is going towards the white text. Okay? So, now, she now has to then make sure that this controller now is set up to Elvron mixing. So that when she pulls up or down on the joystick, both surfaces go up or down. And when she pulls right or left on the joystick on the right side, these will then turn right or left. If you are turning these control surfaces with this stick over here, you have it wrong. If you're trying to turn right and only one flap turns, you have it wrong. You have to set this up. You've got to have some sort of mixing on your transmitter to make this happen. So a lot of our DX5s will have that mixing setting, mm -hmm. and then it allows us to yeah, do that. It's just a switch on the DX5s. Right, this one, or anything else, like six above, you're gonna have to change it up. Now Ashton's Typhoon is slightly different just with a little addition, why don't you talk about that? Yep, so uh, we have here the two Elvons like Clara's, except we incorporated the rudder. So let's, let's come over here and pop out the canopy to take a look at the receiver. So we have our, these two Elvons, connected to one in the aileron and one in the elevator. And then we just took our rudder and put it in the rudder spot. So now, when we take our controller, uh, when it's on mixing, like Clara's, it'll, be, it'll turn right and left, like it usually does, and up and down. Except when you go over here on the left side and you do your rudder, it, it turns the rudder as well. So that gives you more control with turning and a whole bunch of different things. Cool. So that's just a simple addition. There's no, yep. you just ch keep the mixing the same, and then you just add it it'd, be, it'd be like adding a servo, just adding a servo to this plane, except it's on one now. Perfect. All right, so then our last setup, you guys take this off. 
We're gonna grab Jake Jepson's plane from Elite. And Jake's gonna talk about how this one's set up. So now we have a design where we have two flaps in the back, but then we also have two flaps on the wing. So we have our true ailerons, and then we're gonna keep this as an elevator. Now, we highly recommend that if you fly this plane, that you don't Y or don't keep the same, because I mean, you can fly it two different ways. You can keep these together and keep these together and run it like an aileron setup. Yep. The problem is that when you turn right, you're taking a lot of your wing area away and your plane tends to want to just drop out of the sky. You can still fly it, but it doesn't do as well. So we put two servos on one wire with the split and two servos on this one's split. How does that hook up? So for the two servos for your elevator, they're both going to connect to one wire, which is going to go into your elevator. And then your two ailerons will connect to one wire and go into your aileron spot, which will make it to where instead of have using just your right, just your right joystick, you can use your right joystick. And when you go up, the back two will go up. And when you go left, only your ailerons will go instead of the elevator going with it. Perfect. And there's no special setup to your controller when running this type of setup. So you just turn your controller on, start a new model, and you should be set to go because you're running it traditionally, just, you just don't have a rudder. Yeah. So those are um, all the combinations that we typically run in our class. And um, we get that question a lot is how to hook up a receiver um, with the transmitter and all the wires and stuff. Um, that's how you do it in Lamus turn and, and quick turn as, as quick as we possibly can. Um, to you guys, if you guys have any more questions about how we go about doing this or another setup, please feel free to comment below and we'll try to answer that in another tip series. But thank you guys and thanks for watching.